In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My dear friends, we continue talking about Mary, our mother. She is our spiritual mother. We have to honor her. Let us continue this gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, verse 34. Mary said to the angel, I'm a virgin, how then can this be? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and God's power will rest upon, upon you. For this reason, the Holy Child will be called the Son of God. Remember your relative Elizabeth. It is said that she can not have ch ch children, but she herself is now six months pregnant. Even though she is very old, for there is nothing that God cannot do. My dear friends, this passage is showing us how Mary was so confused. She could ask herself, as you could ask yourself, if the angel come with a very uh, great message like this one, and explain how you will be pregnant when you are still virgin. That was so confusing. Mary asked to the angel and the angel didn't resist resist to her he replied quickly because he explained more how it will be and this is the explanations the angel gave to mary and those explanations are also adding more to what we can uh, talk about mary the angel said, the Holy Spirit will come on you, and the God's power will rest upon you. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will come on you. My dear friends, sometimes it's so, so easy to read, but so difficult to go deep. For myself, I have a testimony, a very simple testimony of myself. The time the Holy Spirit visited me to receive the Holy Spirit, to receive the, the power of the Holy Spirit. I can't know how I can define, I can't know how I can explain it to someone to understand how it is heavy it is so so heavy because you feel totally the totally different from the way you were before that is what that is the first second you feel like not a person when the holy spirit came to me i could feel like so 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 big I don't know how I can explain because it is a mystery. It is a mystery. But what I wanted to say, this is my 
very simple as a a sinner my simple experience over the holy spirit mary was not a sinner like me means that she had the holy spirit fully for me i don't know if the if i had the word i received the, the word spirit half i don't know how i can compare but i can't compare myself to mary because mary was sent hallelujah that is why she had the fully in the holy spirit hallelujah the full power of the holy spirit that is what i wanted to say my dear friends the holy spirit will come on you means mary was taken by let us assume that the holy spirit has the hand the holy spirit came to purposely to mary hallelujah and took her from others girls others the version of her time the holy spirit came with it, the his a uh, powerful hand and took mary then after taking mary among let us assume they were in a group of many beautiful girls virgin girls but the holy spirit came purposely to mary hallelujah and take her took her from that group because she was greatly chosen greatly blessed hallelujah and after taking her the holy spirit changed the place of mary hallelujah he went with the holy spirit mary went uh, if this was uh, spiritually she went with the holy spirit to hallelujah the shadow of the power of god hallelujah hallelujah God's power will rest upon you. Hallelujah. Means the Holy Spirit took Mary and put her somewhere where the power of the of the of God, where the power of God was to like to cover Mary. Means Mary was completely changed. She was no longer a virgin uh, girl she became a wife of the holy spirit of the father of the father sometimes when i wanted to explain more i say let us assume the father a uh, hard plan yes he has a plan he had the plan long the uh, very long before because after adam and eve god has decided to renew his covenant with the, his people because he has already chosen israel like his people after this covenant he made himself he went with the israel hallelujah he was protecting them remembering what he has promised to their ancestors hallelujah but still israel was uh, so weak they were so so weak they were sinners they could not be happy they we they would complain because they were sinners they were so weak but god because he's a merciful god hallelujah he was keeping what he was he, he was what he talked to our ancestors ancestors the time came that god has a uh, setro is a plan to come to fulfill his covenant because he has promised to have a new covenant and the time came and at that time who must have a big a beginning the beginning and the beginning was mary hallelujah she was the beginning of the new testament she is the beginning of the new i i, I was saying she was 
like it was in the past. She is now. Even now, you have to know. Hallelujah. You have to know, my dear friends, Mary is the beginning. Hallelujah. Of the uh, New Testament. The Bible has two, uh, two testaments, Old and New. The New Testament uh, starts from Mary. Start from the incarnation, the time Jesus decided to come through Mary. Let us go back a bit so that I can continue the story I have started. God wanted to fulfill his covenant. Then he said, I have to choose someone. So I will fulfill my covenant, my promise to a person through that person. Hallelujah. Because he has promised to, to humanity that uh, covenant, but he had to come with, fr- through the someone uh, through someone who resembled them. Hallelujah. Because he wanted to come resembling us. Hallelujah. Then he said, he was sitting there. Sometimes I try to understand how God was so confused to look at this earth and don't find someone who can be uh, fitting. And then when he saw Mary, he said, ah, in the French they say, voila, ah, voila, the girl I desire, the girl my heart desire. This is the first. And she's beautiful more than others. And father started to date her. He was dating her spiritually, not physically. Because if it was physically, we can't go in the sense and imagine what happened. Eh? Because we can imagine how we can love someone. But because it was spiritually, God came spiritually to Mary and said, I love you. Hallelujah. God says, say it to Mary, I love you. And I want you to marry you. Hallelujah. Mary said what? She didn't resist to him. He, she said, I'm the Lord's servant. Say, may it happen to me as you have said. Hallelujah. That is the yes of Mary. Hallelujah. The yes of salvation. Hallelujah. My dear friends. Father loved Mary and he came purposely to choose her. He was looking among the girls, among everybody, but he saw someone who can be greater than everybody, and that person was Mary from the poor family. Then the fa- father called the Holy Spirit and Jesus, because they are one, one God in the Holy Trinity. Father called Jesus and the Holy Spirit and said, I have seen someone whom my heart desire. What can I do? And the Holy Spirit said, oh, where is that person? And God said, that person is Mary. Oh, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit said, oh, let me go to, uh, to take her from there, to bring her to you. Then Jesus said, oh, Father, because you have chosen her, even me, I will go to her. Hallelujah. That was the, uh, what I, I can say, the agreement made in a heaven. Then they came to Mary. Not because Mary was an, the only one girl at her time, but she was the, the most beautiful spiritually and physically that God has chosen. In our language, we have a, 
a song says, what God has chosen, what can you add on? Nothing. What can you? God has already chosen her. Let me sing in Kinyarwanda because I don't know how I can sing in English, but in Kinyarwanda we, we say, Ichi mana ya kuzi we wachangute means if God has chosen something, how you can say no? How 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 can you say now this is not good? Means in other words, if you wanted to build your house, let us assume that you have a lot of money you have wanted to build your house you build your house in a sophisticated way hallelujah because you want your house to be very comfortable to you when you enter in your house you feel so comfortable so happy this is you if god wanted to build her his own house how can he hallelujah decorate that house in a sophisticated way and that is what he did to mary my dear friends until here i hope you are understanding how mary is totally different from others she was greatly blessed greatly chosen by god hallelujah I know when I talk about Mary, it is not easy to know where to start by and to end by because she's so great. And she told me yesterday, but one, she told me, you took as someone who loved me. That is why I promise you that love you were trying to put to my children that love you have to me i will uh, give it you back with the many rewards hallelujah because mary knows that i don't talk uh, as someone who is um, uh, who is um, in fanatism I'm not a fanatic of her only oh, yes of course I love her I love her but when I say so I say the truth which is in the Bible I don't use my own word to explain how Mary is greater I always use the Bible to explain more about Mary I use the Bible. And that Bible, you already have it. Means you can have your time to read and to understand. I know sometimes people read the Bible, but they don't understand. Because to understand what is written, must it's, it's hallelujah, a gift of the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit has given me that gift to explain to you, my dear friends. I want you to come to me as some who want to, to, to learn, not to complain, not to discuss, not to interact, no, but someone who wanted to learn hallelujah we will learn i learn from the holy spirit and i try to teach you and i told you what i tell you is not in the last even there you can see people who are explaining about mary they, they can tell, talk differently from me, but all, always true. Means the explanations of the Holy Spirit or explanations he gives us 
are always rich. His knowledge, I told you, is so greater. We can't understand with it our little knowledge, our little head. Hallelujah. Our, our head is so, so small. We can't understand all knowledge of God. Means it's like an ocean. You can't say you can take the ocean for once. You can take the water you can afford to take. But the water will stay in the ocean. Others will take, other countries will take, other countries, but the ocean will always be full. This is the knowledge of God. This is the knowledge of the Virgin Mary. We can't understand everything about Mary. But you have to know, what we have now is the knowledge, the true knowledge of Virgin Mary. But in other generations, we have many explanations. Because Mary said, hallelujah, she said, uh, uh, from the generation to generation, I will be praised. Uh, she said, this is in verse 50, his name is the holy from one generation to another. He shows mercy to us who honor him. Hallelujah. From generation to generation, they will always talk about Mary because she's the beginning, she's the starting, the beginning of the New Testament. Nobody will understand, will talk about Jesus ignoring her mother, his mother, because the mother was the source of the salvation. Let me explain more. Mary is not the creator of Jesus. Because I told you, Jesus was even before, but Mary has given to Jesus the body means jesus became a person a human being through mary and what jesus did to us he did it as a person of, of course and not ordinary person but as a person we have to honor our mother mary because she's the mother of the church hallelujah she's the mother of the church may god bless you my dear friends in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen mm -hmm.